Sculptor Gutson Borglum carved more than individuals into stone. Mount Rushmore was intended to commemorate American culture and ideals, a monument to democracy itself. Thus he chose four presidents he believed best embodied the spirit of America and represented the first 150 years of American history. These presidents were George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Jefferson is well known as the primary author of the Declaration of Independence, a document critical to American democracy and an inspiration for other democracies around the world. This in itself was a great accomplishment. However, Borglum chose him not just because of this, but because of the Louisiana Purchase. Jefferson dreamt of westward expansion and his land deal more than doubled the size of our country. Borglum's vision originally placed Thomas Jefferson on Washington's right. However, because of poor quality stone, the sculpture had to be revised. After months of hard work and many dollars later, the first attempt was blasted away in 1934 before carving began again. Once again, Borglum ran into problems partway through carving in the new position. A major crack was revealed running through Jefferson's nose, and the head had to be reset 5 degrees to the north, set back 4 feet, and tilted roughly 18 inches to its present day position. With all of the setbacks, it took six years from the beginning of carving in 1930 to its dedication in 1936, the longest time period between initial carving and dedication for any of the four presidents. At what age should Jefferson's figure be immortalized, young or old? Borglum eventually decided to portray a younger Jefferson at the age of 33 when he had drafted the Declaration of Independence. Despite the many challenges Borglum faced while carving, Jefferson's figure now looks eternally heavenward as part of one of America's enduring icons. <laughs>